No. It's good. going. Okay. It's happening. Hello. How, How are, are you? Good. Okay, this is Brittany Bond, Andy Ward. Hello. And Silke, I can't remember how to pronounce your last name. Hi, Fleischer. <laughs> Fleischer. <laughs> we are Remote Collective. Da -da. So we wanted to give you guys an update on how's it going here in Chiang Mai. How's it going, Silke? Really good. <laughs> We've been doing lots of parties and meetups. And where are we going this weekend? Uh, Chengdao. <laughs> we are going to an eco lodge in May Wan called Spicy Villa. Okay. We're going to the jungle. Mm. Yeah, and we're gonna bath with some elephants and probably take some mushrooms. Don't tell your mom. Okay, I didn't know we do that. <laughs> awesome. It's really fun. But in general, what I thought was crazy was a lot of people are reaching out to us online saying that they're getting visas and they're coming into the country, like from New York and stuff. And I was like, I didn't know the people from the outside could get in. Yeah, new people. New people. What do you think about this, Silka? I'm scared. New people. Woo! Not used to that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, I think we've all been having like different um, reactions to the city. Because I've been here before, and I know how it is before. And so it's been kind of hard for me for this transition, because I'm missing all my friends. But Silka, you really like the city, right? Mm, yeah, I like it. I like the different music vibes here, because on Copenhagen, it's really really hippie floaty and electronical and here is more like hip-hop and jazz and mm. like different kind of music styles and i really like that and you were saying that it's actually really grounding for you like to have a schedule and like people are doing stuff yeah. less flowy less flow <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i really feel like people are actually doing stuff it's more yeah i feel better here too get yeah. my shit done yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're gonna get getting some yoga stuff going for you so you can teach yoga yeah so if anyone wants to take yoga classes in Chiang Mai, this is the one to take it from. Yes. She's amazing. And tell everyone what kind of yoga you do. Uh, vinyasa, Hatha, and if someone wants also Yin. Yay! And then Andy, for the, all the people who are thinking of coming into Thailand, is this a good time to visit Thailand and stay as a digital nomad long term? Yeah, it's actually the best time. Because um, it's still quiet, so I don't know when you're going to be coming in, uh, when you're going to land. but a lot of the places we've passed through are really really quiet and the Thai people are really welcoming because they're used to being surrounded by tourists all the time and right now there's just a few passing through so they have all the time in the world to show you around they're really happy um, I would recommend it uh, you, the way I've heard it is it's what Thailand was like 10 years ago uh, when the digital nomads kind of started coming through and so you get to relive that experience so you didn't miss out you didn't miss out on it come now <laughs> yeah if anything if you're tired of people saying oh it used to be nice this is it's nice again yes. so come through also um th those of us that are left the foreigners that are left we have an amazing community of people here who are very creative artsy working on business and just up for playing so like today i'm gonna go to a waterfall and hang out with friends but we're in the city so we can get massages and go to a music show tonight there's just like so much going on I will be honest though, I really miss Copenhagen and I miss the water and I miss the ocean. Because if you don't know, Chiang Mai is this, a beautiful town up in the mountains in the jungle in the north of Thailand. So when the burning season comes here in January, I think everyone is going to be down on, back on Copenhagen. I'm already like going to start shouting about Copenhagen again because to me that's home base. I used to live here in Chiang Mai and I just moved all of my stuff to Copenhagen, sent it down with some friends. So. What do you think, Silka? I also miss Copenhagen. I miss the sunsets. Even if we can see a sunset here with the temple in the back, mm. and it's nice, but sunsets on the beach with the ocean is mm. just something special <laughs> and something I really miss to come down at the end of the day. Yeah, it's been really fun to come back here and reunite with friends and also have a community here of our Copenhagen. It's like Copenhagen people, Thai people, and our digital nomad friends. But I don't know. What do you think, Andy? At the end of the day, what's your verdict? Chiang Mai or Copenhagen? Both. <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> it is. It's only a two-hour flight between the two. This is what I said. Like, why do you have to choose? I mean, I will only live in Copenhagen, but I'll come up for a long weekend. It's super cheap flying out of Suratani. It's really quick, and they have so much sushi here. It's oh like yeah. so. Like in Copenhagen, they have great sushi. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's like two free sushi mm -hmm. places, which is really awesome. But here, there's so many sushi places. Yeah, we need to eat sushi today. We need to like stock up as much as we can. Yeah. 
So our general plan is right now, I mean, it changes every day, but our general plan is, um, I don't know how long Silk is in town for, but Andy and I... Are <laughs> but Andy and I are uh, eventually going to start making our way back down to Copenhagen. Like we're gonna do like a two-week road trip down, and I'm super excited for that. For all our friends and family on Copenhagen, do you guys have anything to say? We miss you. We really yeah. miss you guys. Love you guys. Miss See you. Love you, you. Miss you. Love you. For everyone else Happy in the world. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. For everyone else in the world. Get your butt out to Thailand if you can. I mean, people are saying by next May, like, the flights are going to be back to normal. It's just blowing my mind. So our goal here with Remote Collective is to keep the project going even after we leave. Like, we have the hotel, we have the community, and um, and then build something like that on Koh Phangan where people have a landing place to come through. And then we have Soundgarden that we're building. If you guys don't know about that, uh, it's an amazing music venue in Koh Phangan that we are building out with Aaron and Lagad and so excited for all the stuff happening there. There's just so much things happening. And then tell them about the videographer yesterday that we met up with. Jordan. Yeah, we want to work together with a videographer and want to do more content about what's going on in our lives here. Yeah, make some like special uh, videos showcasing like the the crazy life we have because we realize that most of the places around the world are coming to a slowdown or a stop and for us things just seem to be speeding up like really really speeding up and we love it and we we know we're really lucky and we appreciate this but also we feel that this is what people want to see uh, they want to be inspired they want to see what's happening when the lockdowns are going away what opportunities are available and we have those so we think it's a responsibility for us to show what what you can do and what you can do once the lockdowns open up when the flights start coming in the tourists start coming in what we can do and what community we can create so all of you out there who are away from your people wherever you are in your home country outside your home country and you're missing community will be here for you when the yeah. flights open up and we'll be happy to welcome you yeah it's if we if by watching this video you can be inspired to go be brave and to go create community or come join ours then then it was worth it and that's what we're going to do we're going to make more content because we keep joking our life is like a movie or something better so we're going to show it to you guys and hopefully by doing that you can be inspired to go out and be brave in your own life because we didn't get lucky we no one handed us this we worked for everything that we've ever had but we also are super grateful for all of it and it's like if we can do this then you guys can too yeah, I always say thank you to my past me for making the right decision to stay here <laughs> and not going back when everything went crazy. Yeah, you'd be in winter in Germany right now, right? Yeah, no, I don't want to be there. It's horrible. <laughs> Super cold. <laughs> my friends are in lockdown. Mm. Yeah. I want to show you guys this beautiful cafe that we're in. If you guys don't, if you don't know Blue Diamond, it's a classic. We if you're a Copan Young person, we call it our indigo because it's like a place where you can come and meet everyone. Whoa, that did not be sure that. <laughs> okay, um, this is Brittany Bond, Soka Bleche? Bleche. 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 Bleche and Andy Ward. Yep. Uh, reporting <laughs> live from Chiang Mai. Hope you guys have an amazing day. It is Thanksgiving for us here and happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.